Now to the race for the White House tonight. President Trump is campaigning in New Hampshire this evening after accepting his party's nomination last night. The Republican National Convention from the South Lawn of the White House. The large crowd there cheering on the president who took aim at Joe Biden. And tonight, Biden firing back. Here's our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. The image has presented the world as the president wants it to be. A celebration of all things Trump. His name emblazoned in fireworks over the Washington skyline. Trump supporters shoulder to shoulder as if the pandemic that has raged for six months is a distant memory. The White House, his house. The fact is I'm here. What's the name of that building? The fact is we're here and they're not. On many levels, an alternative reality, the gathering in defiance of CDC guidance and local health regulations. Today, Joe Biden called it a super spreader event. But the president, who has marginalized the medical experts and misrepresented the threat, proclaimed his handling of COVID-19 a smashing success. To save as many lives as possible, we are focusing on the science, the facts, and the data. Even as the fireworks burst overhead, protesters outside offered a stark reminder of the number the president did not mention, more than 180,000 Americans dead. His campaign focus is not the virus, but the violence on American streets. We must never allow mob rule. We can never allow mob rule. The central argument, it will get worse under a President Biden. And this election will decide whether we will defend the American way of life or whether we will allow a radical movement to completely dismantle and destroy it. After it ended, some of the protests outside turned ugly. Trump supporters, including Senator Rand Paul, were taunted and threatened as they headed home. For his part, Biden points out the violence is happening in Donald Trump's America. And today, a different protest in Washington, a peaceful procession of tens of thousands, mostly wearing masks, calling for racial justice. The president had no words for them. Mr. President, what is your message for the thousands of people on the mall? Let's get to John Carr with us from Washington again tonight. And John, President Trump, we know, holding that rally in New Hampshire tonight, as you reported. We know Joe Biden also preparing to go back out on the campaign trail. Biden is preparing to hit key battleground states, David, after Labor Day, including Wisconsin, Minnesota, Arizona, and Pennsylvania. The campaign tells us that this will be done safely and in full accordance with local regulations on COVID-19. All right, John Carl, a long week. Thanks for being here every step of the way. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.